So I strung this back wall already, but you could see that it kind of kinks at the center there. It's really an odd spot. So we need to try to see what's going on with that. It's just sort of a pain because these beams measure out to five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. While our plate's five and five eighths. I'm gonna need two blocks, two little six inch blocks. I'm gonna run a new string line. I wanna try to fix this little spot. Will you throw me two of those little blocks? What am I hung up on already? There we go. <laughs> I just went through all that <laughs> unhanging. Okay, so we're gonna run that string line from there. Go hop up and go down that way. So by putting the string inch and a half out, you could take a two by four and gauge it that way. But since this beam is five and a quarter instead of five and a half, we wanna put it directly over the edge of our wall. That way we can see what's going on down by those two plates. Cause it looks like this whole thing either needs to shift out or in a little bit. I don't know, it's kind of all over the place. What kind of socks are you guys wearing today? These are my pineapple socks. Pop that off. Put that on there. Yeah, it looks like it kinks. My guess is we need to go that way. Okay, so I'm showing that the center needs to come that way, just a fuzz. So we've got this beam that's given us trouble. We knew it was going to because it's a really big pivot point. We have beam dropped in with no top plate here, beam dropped in, no top plate there. Two little top plates in the center. To get this thing straight is not that easy. We're gonna try to smack it over with a logo. Just that, yeah, just that side. Now smack the left. One more time. One more. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So our first LSL, our rim board, is gonna sit right along the edge there. Run out, double across, single back, single through the center. And that is what encases our floor system. You can see the writing LP solid start. You always want the lettering to go up. Although with structural members like the LVL that we have throughout here, even though the writing is up, you will find sometimes that the crown is wrong. Always check them. All right, let's go for it now. Hold that. Good old LSL. Need to crank up the pressure on the old compressor.
Would you get would you get me unhooked? I am not liking the rubber grip on that going into my pouch. Oh, it hangs up, huh? Yeah, it holds up every time. This like 144 and 7 8. That's you. Have, have you ever eaten a shark? No. We ate bull shark in Arizona. It didn't even quite make sense to me because Arizona doesn't touch the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it was good. That makes sense. Doesn't it? Yeah, that'd be like going to Idaho to get freaking lobster. You just don't do it. All right, so you hop down. Thank you. Keep it from I got you. I say we just run it middle of beam to middle of beam. That'll give us the best tie. Yeah. Let's push this way. Yeah. I don't even think that. I just say we wing it. Not all the way through. I only got where I could. We'll get the rest off of a ladder if we want. Pull yours out and back. Ow! Oh, yeah. So that toilet there and there is the only thing we need to worry about. It's a four foot six to center. Let's work some layout. So if we hook that four foot three, I'm showing my toilet. So four foot three is about where our toilet is. Put a T right there.
Our top cord on our joist is two and a half, so you're gonna lay out 16 center. We're staggered a little bit to miss our toilet. Wind is picking up. Now we'll hook off of that, pull our layout. So then we'll hook there, pull to our first layout and match it there and there. Oh, this saw will hook on a joist? That's a gold mine right there. Let's nail, buddy. So these holes right here always go down. It's for utilities to get ran through. We'll run with it, buddy. We'll make it work. I love that this saw actually hooks on a freaking joist. That's great. Watch me drop it by end of day. All right, come on, guys. Sorry, that was just the first time I've been ahead of you, so I had to say something. Good? Careful on those blocks, plus I nail them. Huh. <laughs> 
You're funny. Go for it, buddy. If that makes you happy, if that makes you sleep at night, go for it. Butting double LVL, 50 and a quarter to it. Yep.
Are these cut? You already cut them? Yeah, no, we're uh, kind of late on you guys. Oh, go figure. Let's go for it. Up and at him. See, you're gonna get muscles working. This is how Fox got so big. Coming to a close on today's video, we got the floor joist in. We rimmed out the majority of this place. Beams are dropped in for our head out. To give you guys a better understanding of these double LVLs right here, it's going to be open from those all the way out to the balloon wall. We're gonna have our stairs going up, have a landing, up again, landing, up one final time, and they'll go right to that double LVL. We do have TJIs that run from the double LVL over to our load bearing wall here. We're gonna get those in tomorrow. But overall guys, we had a pretty productive day. If you wanna see more of this point of view content, it's been a while since I've done it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. If you want, subscribe button is down below. Any comments you have regarding framing, drop them there as well. I'll see you next time, bang on.